Coco, what's your plan for today? Huh. I don't really have many choices because I'm only nine. Uh, so I guess that just means I'll be right here. Oh, unless you have something planned for us. If you do, I'll, I will offer to pay, but I don't really have any money. No, I don't have any plans, ma'am. Well, how about we make today a relaxed day? How does that sound? Just like every other day, parents make up boring. That is not made up and it's not boring. It's a day to let your body wind down. But what if my body just wants to wind up? I can't force it to wind down. It's activating. <laughs> Girl, calm down. Okay, so today is a day to relax. What that means is Coco doesn't bother mama unnecessarily, Coco is not loud, and Coco isn't destructive. After sitting back and listening, I'm just wondering where do the rules for mama come in? Oh, those. Well, mama doesn't have to be bothered by Coco. Mama doesn't have to listen to Coco be loud. And last but not least, mama doesn't have to hear or see Coco be destructive. How does that sound? Just like the other ones you already said, I thought yours were gonna be- Nope, 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 nope. These are the rules and that's about it. All right, Coco, have fun relaxing, and I'll see you in a few. So, do I have to starve today? <laughs> You'll be fed. You are something else. <laughs> How's relaxing fun? That's why I need a puppy, because if I had a puppy, I wouldn't have these problems. Now I gotta find something to do. I'm sick of playing with dish. Like that. Oh, I'm play a tablet. It was boring. with a different voice is not really violating the rules, right? Oop, I guess we'll never know until we try. Okay, here we go. Just remember, if I go down, we go down together. Wish me luck. Hello? Uh, hi, ma'am. This is Sandra from Fed Next. Oh, hey, yes, I put a request in over a week ago about my lost package. Yes, ma'am. That's why I'm actually calling. It's been brought to our attention that you were trying to sneak in a baby hippo oh. into the U.S. And that's unacceptable. I'm sorry, what? My package had nothing to do with the hippo. Ma'am, calm down. We have evidence that shows it did. Well, I'm telling you it didn't. Look. Now, during this call, you could be honest or the police are going to be at your door, okay? I understand why you may have been trying to get the hippo, but that's illegal. I was not trying to get a hippo here. You clearly were trying to get a ride to and from work to support your children, right? What? I have a car! That's understood. But I do know that gas is high in the U.S. and having a hippo, you'll be able to save. I wouldn't be riding a smelly hippo, Sandra. You're getting upset with me when I'm just trying to help because you're the one that's about to go to jail for smuggling in a baby hippo. I'm sorry. Listen, who do I need to talk to to clear up the situation? Hmm, let's see. Well, that would be me. Well, talking to you is getting me nowhere. Well, I do see that it's getting you somewhere, and that somewhere is mad. Ma'am, do you have a bad temper? No. No, I don't. I'm just frustrated. Well, do you want to talk about it? Um, are you a therapist, or do you work at FedNex? Again, ma'am, I don't want any problems. I'm just trying to be here for you since no one else is. Ma'am, how do I just locate my package that's been missing? Oh, it's been located and there's a 60 pound baby hippo in it. See, here you go again. I don't know anything about a baby hippo. Well, what was in the package? I don't think that's any of your business. See, see, I knew you would say that. I told the 
fed you and say that. And guess what? Guess what? You gonna be arrested. You took that baby from his mama. I did not. I need to talk to a manager. You, you know what? You're right. Because I can't do this. I can't deal with no hippo thieves. <laughs> I'm not a thief. <laughs> you know what? One moment, please. I have Ava Streety on the line, the one who's trying to sneak the baby hippo into the U.S. I am not. Ma'am, please come down and explain to me your situation. Well, I don't have a situation. My package is missing and I've been trying to retrieve it. And your employee is telling me something about a baby hippo. Oh, well, I do understand your concern and I can see how this can be frustrating. The reason I ask about your situation is because my employee has let me know that you may have some mental illness or issues going on. What? I just want my package. Ma'am, calm down because if you don't, the police will be at your door shortly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other person said that already. Oh, and you still haven't learned. Anyway, ma'am, why are you trying to get a baby hippo over here? Oh, wait, I see it here in the notes. It's for you and your children to get a ride back and forth to school and work? I told you, I don't know anything about a baby hippo. I don't want a hippo. I don't even like hippos. I just want my package. But you won't tell us what's in it. It's collagen lotion to keep my wrinkles away. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, oh, nothing. You know, let me do some research here to see if possibly the baby hippo took the wrinkle cream because they could have been in the same package. Listen, I'm not doing this. Call me back with someone who has some sense. <laughs> oh, 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 let's call her back one more time just for the heck of it. Oh, yes. Hi, ma'am. You can't just hang up on us like that, okay? We're trying to fix your situation. Now, how much did you say the baby hip away? Well, I didn't say a number, but let's start with 30 days on punishment. <laughs> you are not sleep. I told you it was a day to relax and you have my blood pressure sky high. Uh, shall we, mama? No, don't sorry mama me. Well, I'm happy that you finally found a wrinkle cream that's walking, except for the one wrinkle at the top, but other than that, your skin looks great. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Every time we turn our heads, you're always into trouble. With pretty pigtails and a smile that